uh, most notable achievements in futsal, bear in mind it's now 2020, so it's what, six years since I started refereeing that. Within, say, the first 18 months of qualifying, I became part of the first ever Scottish Cup futsal cup final referees team. So I was referee two in the first ever Scottish futsal cup final. The following year, they were done it at the time, I was in, in the Scottish Futsal Cup final team again, but I was refereeing the select match. The way we done it back then was we selected a team of uh, six officials to referee the whole day. So the first year I was in the cup final, the senior year I was on the select match. So I still got part of the cup final day, but still a fantastic achievement to have. I've also refereed one international match in my career, and that was Scotland against Gibraltar up in uh, Perth at the Bell Sports Centre. Scotland okay. won. Futsal, yes. Uh, Scotland won. Uh, I was the fourth official. So in Futsal, you have four referees on the court. So you've got referee one, it's his match. He's then assisted by referee two, who's on the far side, who's then assisted by the third official, who is like a fourth official in football. But he controls the technical areas, then transfers between the teamkeeper, who's the fourth official, and referee one. So basically, the third or fourth official find anything untoward. They then feed back into referee one. We are in the Super League. We are quite, we are made up, but at regional level, it's not feasibly possible to be communicated up at all. But yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> So as a, as a third or fourth official in futsal, you are basically dealing with the equivalent of Jose Mourinho or Pep Guardiola. Like, Pretty much. You know, having someone sort of shout in your ear going, that's, that's yeah. not right, well, I'm not the guy on the pitch, mate, go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much, but it's more so the third official has to deal with the managers. Uh, fourth official, so the timekeeper, which way it's sat at the administration desk, so like in basketball or netball, or like a wee admin desk at the side, or even hockey, I think. Uh, basically, we our main job there is to start or stop play. So start or stop the clock, uh, and in futsal it's a twenty minute half uh, stop clock. So a twenty minute half can last forty five minutes easily uh, because you're stopping everything goes out of play. Uh, so that's primarily the first official job to the keeper. He uh, also records any match instance on the sheep beside them as well. All right. So before we go any further. What is the difference between football and futsal? And how they are is futsal different to five-a-side football? Five-a-side football is unregulated. You can watch it go in and annihilate a player and get away with it. Futsal, you can't. Futsal is played to the same laws as football. But there are a few main differences. The number of players for a start. Futsal, you can only have five players per team on the court at any time. Uh, unlimited substitutions in futsal. You have a four second count to release the ball from any restart. Uh, and most importantly, there's no offside in futsal. Uh, so I think that is the main differences. It's also geared more towards the technical player as well. So we've got in Edinburgh, we have Dalkeith Thistle. They've got a team that play in the Amateur and, and Juvenile Leagues, playing the Futsal League, and it's developing their players technically as well. Uh, but that's probably the main differences. Is the ball different in Futsal? Yes, yeah, sorry. It's a size four weighted ball. So It doesn't, it doesn't bounce or roll in the same no. way? No. <laughs> uh, literally, it bounces so high and that's it. I wouldn't recommend heading it. 